Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to connect to a web API in Excel using VBA macros. I bet you are already familiar with the term API. That stands for Application Programming Interface and allows to get third-party data and functionality into our application, or in this case, into the Excel macro or VBA project. Let's see how to do that. We can break down the process in two steps, and therefore we're going to have two macros. In this first video, we will cover the first step, which consists of sending a request to connect to the web API and get the response data. We will see how that response looks like. So this is sub send API request. And in the second video, we will see how to read the API response, which in most cases, and also in this example, is in JSON format. So we will see how to read the API JSON response. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry for now. We will cover that in the next video. We connect to a web API with Excel VBA in the same way we connect to any other web resource, such as a website, for example, as we did before in a previous video to scrape web data with Excel VBA. I'm leaving the link to that video up here if you want to check that. The method consists of sending a HTTP request to the web URL, which in this case is the API URL. So first of all, we need to add the Microsoft XML library from the available references here. Now we can declare HTTP request as an object, and we'll need a few other variables, such as the URL as a string, and also the response as a string. Then we create the HTTP request object, set HTTP request, create object, Microsoft XML2 .xml HTTP. And we assign the web API URL to the variable URL. As an example, we are using the university's web API, which provides the list of universities and some other info for a given country. This is a public API and does not require any API key. And there are many other public APIs out there. I've used APIs to get financial data, such as currency exchange rates, or crypto, or stock prices, also to get sports data, latest results, and other stats, or to get weather data, the temperature in your city or other location, weather forecast, etc. There are many free APIs. Some require to get an API key and have some limitations. And of course, there are paid APIs with no limits. So this is how the API URL looks like. As you can see, it's just like any other URL. It accepts a parameter for the country. So let's say we want to get the list of universities for Sweden. So here we go. Or we can also put that into a variable and concatenate like this. And then get the country from a cell drop down or input box as you wish. If we put that URL in a browser and we select Sweden, for example, we do not get a web page. We get some data in JSON format. But in Excel, we are just going to get the raw text format, which is in here. A bit more difficult to read, but it's exactly the same. We'll see more about that later. OK, now we're going to send a HTTP request with HTTP request we open a connection to get the data from the URL. And this is exactly the same we did in a previous video to scrape web data. So please check that other video for more details. Finally, we send the request and end the with statement here. And now we can get the response as HTTP request dot response text. We are going to debug print that response in the immediate window. Let's run it now and have a look at the response. There it is. It's a bunch of raw JSON data, and we have the list of universities and some other details in there. That's what we've seen earlier in the browser. If you never heard about JSON, I recommend you Google it or check some videos on YouTube. It stands for JavaScript Object Notation and can easily be used to read and write data in JavaScript and also other programming languages, even Visual Basic. And we will see that in the next video. So here we just need to call read API response 
with the response parameter in parentheses. But I'm going to comment it for now because we do not have that macro yet. So that's going to be part two of connecting to a web API with Excel. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.